Okay, so today on East Marsh Acres, we are going to plant some blueberry plants that I bought um, the other day. So I got three um, plants that are coming along, three different varieties. So I got three of each plant of, of one variety, three of another variety, and then five of another variety that are just shoots. So those we will plant out. So he said the blueberry farmer that I got it from Next change. said to um, plant them in um, in peat moss because um, they like acidic stuff. So. Roll. Um, so I thought what we should do is, is make a, a six foot by two foot section and then another six foot by two foot section like tri um, rectangular and then we plant them in that like three in each of that. Of that. So you want the six foot going this way? Or? Uh, going this way. And they only have to be about a foot, about a foot or so deep. So we'll soak up the, the peat moss with uh, water so they can be well drained. So I'm just going to go turn off the water now. And uh, you can see Roland over there and Albie starting to dig the holes for the that. So. I'm planning to, um, so we're doing a six foot by two foot section, rectangular section, and then we're going to do a, um, another one in front of it, and then we'll do a small patch where the seedlings can go into, and then we can outplant them next year. Um, so then we'll put in some peat moss, plant them, then we'll put on some garden soil, and then we're going to put on some wood chips that have the chicken, um, droppings from the brooder that we had. So as you can see, it's afternoon, it's getting nice afternoon sun, like get, get sun in the morning, it'll get sun in the afternoon. So basically full sun here for those blueberries. Um, yeah, I got to turn off the water. Ground here is actually fairly easy to work. It's mostly topsoil. We think that was probably taken from the front acre of our property and put here in a berm all the way along the swale. Probably the swale was dug at the same time, so it might be topsoil from the swale as well. But uh, it makes it fairly easy to, to dig. Because it doesn't have all of the fill. Junk in it, like stones and bricks. And
This is the site of our hoop house and uh, we're just going to be uncovering it because the tarp's been sitting here since spring and uh, it's killed most of the stuff off but we'll have to uh, figure out exactly where we can go and Okay, we're going to uh, plant our grapevines uh, against the shed, and that'll be the last thing that we do today. We're running out of daylight. Okay, so there are two grapevines. We'll put a, a lattice in behind them in the spring, let them grow up it, assuming of course that they make it through the winter. Uh, we'll need to put some straw and stuff over top of them uh, to give it a little bit of, uh, of cover. And uh, we'll come back and close up the chickens just like we did yesterday. They're starting to get a little bit more adventuresome. Look, Trash. Oh yeah, look at that. They're out to the They're sides. Out to your piles almost. <clears throat> They're realizing that there's there's more out there. They're uh, becoming a little bit more comfortable, I think, with their surroundings. Yeah, the gear thing will. Yep. Yeah. They're a hiding place underneath, yep. which is what it's supposed to be. It's working well. It's a good construction. All right, did you want to say a couple of words at the end of the day? No, just keep watching as we progress. See you later from Lee Squire Shakers.